Hi, and welcome to RL Insider, where we're going to share with you tips, tricks, and new ideas for our products. You'll also get to meet some of the faces behind RL. I'm Pansy, and today I'm going to share with you five alerts that you might not be using. And if you are using them, we're going to make sure you're getting the most out of them. Staying on top of your organization is really tough. With alerts, you get email notifications when important things are happening. That way, you don't have to be constantly checking your RL system. Alerts offer real-time updates to the people who need it. That way, it makes everything super efficient. First, we have the high severity alert, when something really bad has happened. Hopefully, you don't get a lot of those, but when they do happen, you want to know right away so that you can act quickly. There are probably a number of other people who also need to know, like your CEO or your chief medical officer. Instead of taking precious time updating everyone, the alert can be set to auto alert so that your task force can jump into action. The second alert is the no activity for X number of days. When adverse events happen, patients and their families are eagerly awaiting for a response from the hospital. But we understand that investigating adverse events can be super time consuming. You need input and feedback from a number of different people. The no activity alert helps you to monitor events that haven't been touched in a certain number of days. And the number of days can be completely customized. And that way, you can get back to patients and families as quickly as possible. Number three is volume alert. Sometimes events happen close together, like 10 falls in two days. Those ones are easy to spot, but sometimes they don't, and they happen over a long period of time, and you're relying on your memory to piece those things together. With RL, you can pick any specific event type, like falls, medication errors, or surgical errors, and pick your time frame. For example, if you have more than five surgical errors within 60 days, it'll let you know. RL helps you flag these increases so that you can investigate why they're happening. The next alert is the Frequent Faller Admitted Alert. Once in a while, patients have to come back to your hospital. If the patient has fallen before, we can let you know when they're admitted, so you can take the necessary precautions to make sure they don't fall again. For example, let's say you have a patient who's known to be very thirsty all the time, and he often tries to get up to get his own water. This can lead to a higher risk of falling. Why not have a pitcher of water by his bedside the next time he comes back? These little things can go a long way to ensure the safety of your patients. And last but not least, the specific event type alert. Maybe you recently rolled out a brand new patient safety initiative that you want to keep track of. Or maybe you want to be notified anytime you have a never event. You may also have different committees for different events. This alert is ideal because it lets you and your committees know exactly when specific events happen. That way, you can stay on top of the things that you care most about. And as with all alerts, you can customize what alerts you get and who gets them. Thanks for watching this video, and if you're part of the RL family, I hope this gives you some ideas on how to get the most out of your RL software. To learn more, be sure to check out our training videos in the Support Center. If you're not part of the RL family yet, we'd love to show you these alerts and much more. Click here to contact us. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we release more of these videos. Bye for now.